Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Are you one of those people that just loves the night sky and you love looking at all the stars? Well, wouldn't it be fun to bring those constellations into your very own bedroom? Well, you can. I'm going to show you how to make a constellation flashlight. And that means that you can shine those beautiful constellations in your bedroom ceiling. I'm going to show you how to make one right now. For this project, you'll need Sharpie pen, cardboard, two small pieces of duct tape, a large safety pin, needle, or push pin, X-Acto knife, cutting board, a circle cutter, two inches wide, scissors, constellation circles, a plastic report cover, and a flashlight. The first thing you're going to do with these constellation circles is cut around the edges so that you're pretty close. This is a really, really nice set that they have designed for you over at H2O Works Designs. And it's well worth the download, especially if you're going to be doing with this with a class or something like that. It definitely pays for itself. And next we're going to take our two inch paper cutter. Now here's the thing with this circle cutter. You don't have to use this, of course. You can cut these out by hand, but this just makes life so much easier. So you just center your circle around the constellation circles and you just squeeze and cut. Squeeze and cut. Squeeze and cut. And you cut out all of these circles. Now, we also are going to need a plastic circle. Here's the thing about these cutters. These do not work on plastic. You will end up breaking this. So this is why you want to use your Sharpie pen. So I'm going to take my circle, put it underneath there, and I take my Sharpie pen and I trace around the outside of the circle. And now I use my scissors to cut the circle out. I have to tell you honestly that I have broken several of these trying to use it on different materials. Really, they are only made for paper and cardstock. And incidentally, I printed my circles out on cardstock. It makes them a little thicker. Paper is a little too thin. You want to make sure that you have printed out your constellations on cardstock. There we go. I've cut my circle out. Now we're going to prep our constellation circles. To do that, you're going to need your piece of cardboard and your constellation, whichever one we want to start with. We'll start with an easy one here. Now I'm going to be using my tapestry needle because it's nice and I can hold it very easily. But you can also use a push pin or a safety pin. And what you're going to do is that each of these little star points, which are bright and bold thanks to this constellation setup, I'm just going to po poke a pinhole. Now I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to flip it over, but there you can see there's little pinholes. What happens is when you put this in front of your flashlight, the light shines through. Can you see that? And that's going to make a really neat pattern on your wall or ceiling. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our flashlight and we're going to make it so that you can put your constellations in and out. So see this piece of plastic? We're going to lay this right on top here. And we're going to tape it into place with these two little pieces of duct tape. So I'm just going to take the duct tape and put one piece on one side like that. And right directly across it from the other side, I'm going to put a second piece. So it's like north and south. Then I'm just going to lay this on top of my flashlight and tape it into place. Now I don't need to tape it tight, tight, tight. 
but I do want to tape it on top. So now I can slip my fabulous constellation right on in and I can turn it on and off really easily. What's great about this is that I can then switch in and out all my constellations and you can actually create an entire set of constellations that you can play with at night. Isn't that cool? And there you have it, your very own constellation flashlight. I'm going to slip this one in here. I'm just going to show you. There you go. I don't know if you can see all those little tiny points of light. Now, if it was dark and you were shining it onto a wall at night, you get the Big Dipper right in your very own bedroom. For more fun ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you think that this one is a star, make sure you give us a thumbs up and write some comments down below. We love hearing your comments. For more fun stuff, check us out at sophie-world.com.